to find the perfect red lipstick. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Ava and I have a special guest with me today, Susie. Hi, my name is Susie. I am a makeup artist based in New York. Um, today we're going to talk about red lipsticks that fit with different skin tones. Exactly. And you guys, my makeup looks so good today because Susie just helped me do my entire makeup. And now we have our last part, which is perfecting the red look. And I personally love wearing reds, but it's always hard for me to kind of find the perfect red lip. And I just always wanted like an expert opinion on what kind of reds look be better for me. Mm -hmm. there, Cause there's so many different kinds of reds. And it was just Lunar New Year. Mm -hmm. So even with that, I was like, what red lip should I wear? So she's gonna help me find the perfect red lip that I can wear year round. All right, Susie, so can you just walk us through um, what kind of red lipstick looks best based on your skin tone? Yes. So we have three different types of skin tones. We have warm skin tones, cool skin tones, and neutral. Um, warm skin tones look best with corals and browns. Mm -hmm. And then cool skin tones look best with um, a bluer, a blue tint red. Okay. Um, and then neutral skin tones look best with anything. All right. Yeah. So what kind of skin tone do you have? I have a warm undertone. Okay. Um, because I am Asian, I always thought I had very fair, cool tones. But over the years, after I've tried many different products on my skin, I find that warm, pro warm toned um, products look best on me. I'm still trying to figure it out, but what do you think I am? I would say you are more neutral okay. than cool or warm. Yeah. So then I think you can try out all different types of shades yeah. and it'll probably look good on you. All right, yeah. so let's just try them on mm -hmm. now. So um, I went through my whole red lipstick stash and I have quite a few. Mm -hmm. So kind of Susie just helped me um, kind of categorize them into the different shades of colors because for me, like when I see a color, it doesn't really come to me that, oh, that's a bluish red, you know? Like, I think I can't see through that. So we categorize into four different categories mm -hmm. now. So what's the first category we should do? We should start with the berries. Okay, so the berries are, what we're gonna do? Mm -hmm. The berries are, are they cool or warm? They are cool. They're cool they tones, have okay. a purple undertone to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with the berries now. Okay. Very first berry one we have is the Decorte. You guys know I've talked about this so many times in my Instagram and YouTube channel as well. I wear this all the time. So that was the Decorte one. And then the second one is the bare minerals. Oh, okay, bare minerals. I really like that color. It's just like a really pretty berry yeah, color. Yeah, it really yeah. is. So pretty. The third swatch is NARS. NARS. NARS swatch. Oh, Ooh. this is a really dark, like yeah. red wine kind mm -hmm. of lip. So now that we have three shades, the last one is the Care Weiss and Glorious. Mm -hmm. um, I just got this recently and I've been pretty obsessed with the color, but still was unsure of how it would look on my mm. skin. Just because it's a little dark. If yeah. you see from the sh shade, it looks really, really dark. This is another pretty dark red wine color, mm -hmm. but slightly less darker than the NARS one that we just did. Yeah. So I think that's why I liked it a little more. Mm -hmm. These are the four berry shades that we have. Mm -hmm. And which one should we try on my lip now? I think we should try on the. Hmm. Maybe the, the bare second minerals? One. Yeah, let's try yeah. That. It applies really smoothly. Mm hmm. Pretty. Yeah? Yeah. That's crazy because cool tone uh -huh. still looks pretty good on me mm -hmm. for the berry. I really like this one. It's more of a like a red when I apply it though. Uh-huh. Than the swatch. Uh -huh. The swatch looks really berry, uh -huh. but on me it doesn't look that berry. Mm. It looks more like a red. I don't know. I like it though. Mm. Alright, so we just covered the purples. Now we're gonna go on to the blue tint. Okay. Yes. So that's another cool tone, mm -hmm. blue tint. All yes. right. We're gonna start with MAC. Okay. It is the All Fired Up. Oh, this is pretty color too. Yeah. That's very similar to Bare Minerals one. Mm -hmm. It kind of is, yeah. yeah. And then the second one, Ilya. Mm -hmm. Strike, Strike it, it Up. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I've actually used this a lot in my um, story since last year as well. Mm -hmm. All right. It just feels like a true red to me mm -hmm. for some reason. This also kind of looks a little berry-ish. Yeah. Yeah. What color should I try? Let's try the MAC. The MAC one. Yeah, because I've used the Ilia before. Mm -hmm. The MAC one was part of their holiday edition kit for their mini lipsticks. So this is the MAC lipstick on. That color is so pretty. It's all fired up from MAC. I don't know, what do you think, Susie? I think it might be one of my favorites so far. Really? It's, it's so pretty. I don't know, it's just like the application. It's not like that super glossy. It mm -hmm. definitely is more matte. Yes. But it, I don't know, it's weird because I feel like I'm not wearing anything on my lips. It's light. Yeah. It's very yeah. light. Very, very light. Did you go in with a couple of layers or this? No, or this is just one layer. One layer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel like some of the other ones you have to like layer up to really mm -hmm. get the true color. This is one layer and it's perfect. Okay. And now we're going to go in with the corals. The corals, mm -hmm. some of my favorites. First color, the Shantikai. Shantikai. I'm going to let you say that. Frang Pain. Frang Pain. <laughs> Frangipane? Frangipane? <laughs> See, like this is like hard to tell if it's a true red, so I had to ask Susie, is this a red or not? But it's a coral. Yeah, it's definitely a coral. Coral red. Um, but the application is so smooth mm -hmm. that it's one of my favorite lipsticks lately. That's a really pretty corally red. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's great for springtime too. Yeah, in the it summer. looks like a spring color. Yeah, very spring color. The next is the YSL. I wore this a lot this Christmas um, just because I just love the application. It's mm -hmm. very, very velvety. Yes. And it looks very dark and berry. It does. But that's when you swatch it, it mm -hmm. comes out very corally. Yeah, that's so interesting. You can see this red is so lightweight, yet mm -hmm. corally. Um, so I'm interested how this would apply on the lips. It, when you apply on the lips, it comes out as a very different color mm -hmm. too. So yes. Um, if you want to switch things up a bit, we should try the spring okay. color. Yeah, let's yeah. try the spring color. Um, have someone who has really chapped lips. Really chapped lips? Because thank God my lips aren't that chapped. Yeah, like it's two not. weeks ago it was really bad. Yeah. I use this thing called Papa. Uh huh. And it's a lifesaver. You can yeah. use it on chapped lips, yeah. skin that's dry and cracking. Yeah. Um, I use it around my nails. Mm. Um, yeah, it works for everything. It's an ointment. Oh, but okay. I mainly use it as a moisturizer for the lips. That's like pharmacy's honey savior mm. that I have. Have you tried pharmacy? Yeah, yeah. I, have, yeah. I have. Their honey savior is really good for cuticles, mm. but it's really good for like dry patches. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have the Chantecai on. So definitely a spring color. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my God, that looks so pretty. Oh my God, this color just makes me want it to be spring and I want to be in like the blossoms mm -hmm. right now. It's so pretty. That was the two corals. Mm -hmm. I love my coral, seriously. Yes. I wish they had a blush color in this. This one, yeah. yeah. I think that would look really good. You know what you can do ones. is you can use this as blush, as a blush too. too. Yeah. Especially because of the um, texture of it. Yeah. It's really like, wait, yeah. I could do that too. Okay. For sure. Right. Now we have our last category, which is the true reds. True reds. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about this. Yes. Let's start with the Dear Dahlia. Dear Dahlia, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've actually never tried this one, mm -hmm. um, but I do like their lip glosses, mm -hmm. lip glosses a lot. This one is called Ruby. Oh, that is a true red. Mm -hmm. Very, very red. Like compared to all the other colors up here, this one stands out. Mm -hmm. you know? It's like a red crayon. Yeah. yeah. This is the Bare Minerals. Mm -hmm. It's called Courage. Courage, okay. That's the next true red. Very I mean, red. Wow, oh my God. It is so red. Mm -hmm. These new mineral um, lipsticks from Bare Minerals, mm -hmm. they come out so that it would be even softer than their Got original it. formula. It has a little bit, what do you say? A blue tint to yes, it. Yeah. A light blue tint, but it's still like a very much like a popping mm -hmm. red. Our last color is the Kosas. Kosas, mm -hmm. yeah. This is called Phoenix. I did a full Kosas video uh -huh. um, on their blushes and lipsticks, and this was one of them. I, their lipsticks are gorgeous. Are they natural? Mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah, I think that's what I heard. Yeah, and um, they have their lip glosses, which is great too, mm. but I think 
it's not as worth it mm -hmm. for the price point okay. than their lipsticks. Okay. Their lipsticks are really good. Yeah. Oh wow, this is pretty. Yeah, that's another true red. Yeah. But like compared to these three, this would be probably the truest. The truest, you yeah. think? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the last true red. Which one should we go in with? I really want to use the Kosas. Kosas? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, it is very red. Wow, it looks really good on you though. I like it. It's, I just feel so, I don't know, professional, mm -hmm. chic. Yeah. You know? This is the red you want to go out with. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go out with red lipstick on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You oh my god. You need to. Um, I mean, I, I can easily just. Let's just. Um, I'm just. Here. All right, guys. That is the last lipstick from Kosas. Um, I just need to be careful because I just did this on my shirt. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Three days of filming a YouTube video, but that's the true red and it's a great wrap to this whole video mm -hmm. and So we swatched four colors overall on my lip today Besides these you can't even see them properly <laughs> <Here. laughs> um, Susie, what was your favorite? I would have to say This Kosas one this is one? my favorite really yes. It's interesting because it's like the truest red mm -hmm. that looks best on me Yeah Okay, now I feel like I just need a pair of glasses now. <laughs> just look really sharp. I think the true red is yeah. for people with neutral undertones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the So you're right. Yeah. I have neutral. Yeah. You look really good in it. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much, Susie, on of working course. on this video with me. It was so fun, and her teaching me and all the undertones and just kind of finding the right shade for me was super helpful. So if you guys need any makeup artists in New York, hire her, Susie. She's so <laughs> talented. All right, well, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like that video, then please like this button and subscribe to my channel below, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you, guys. Bye.